previous session we have to discuss about the SI unit system. In SI unit system, there are the seven types of the system. M, K, S, A, T, meter, kilogram, second, ampere, temperature, quantity of matter and luminous intensity. So the topic is SI base quantities and the units. Okay. Now first is, uh, first, now the quantity is length. The base quantity is length. The unit of length is meter and the symbol is M small m we can uh, represent as a small m if we can represent the capital m then it is known as a mass so we can uh, represent a symbol of length as a small m okay now what is the definition so definition of the length is very simple okay so i will make in the some uh, points likewise so the meter is length of a path is traveled by light in vacuum during time interval of one upon 299792458 okay 299792 2997924458 of a second okay so here the three point is important first length of the path first is length of the path traveled by light in vacuum and the during the time interval of this 1 upon 299792458 of a second is known as a meter it's very simple now the second is known as a the base quantity is mass the unit of base quantity uh, second the base quantity is mass unit is kilogram and symbol is kg okay, okay. now the definition of kilogram is the kilogram is equal to the mass of international prototype now what is a prototype prototype is one of the model which we have to make before the production so now the mass of a international prototype of kilogram a material a, a material is made up of platinum and iridium alloy is a cylinder okay is kept in is kept in ib i B. It is an international bureau of weight and measure, a laboratory in uh, at uh, at Sevres near Paris in France in 1889. Okay, uh, they make a prototype of alloy cylinder made up of platinum and iridium, and <clears throat> the mass of this cylinder is kept and measured in IB International Bureau of Weight and Measure at Sevres. Uh, near Paris in France 1889 the mass of this uh, prototype is known as kilogram okay so this is the definition of kilogram now the third quantity is the base quantity is time the base quantity is time the unit is second and the symbol is s now what is the second so the definition of the second is the duration of 91926317770 the duration of vibration 91926317770 periods okay of the radiation corresponding to transition between two energy levels okay two energy levels of the ground state of cesium 132 atom so here we have to consider a cesium 133 atom cesium 133 has a two energy levels okay so there there is a two energy layers if we have to applying some energy so the uh, charges are energized from lower energy level to from the ground state to upper state okay and the transition duration okay the transition of the vibration duration 9192631770 is period is known as a second okay fine now the next one the fourth uh, base quantity is electric current okay now the fourth base quantity is electric current the force is <coughs> electric current the unit is ampere and symbol is capital a now what is the definition so first of all we have to take two straight conductor or a two straight wire whose length is infinite and cross section area is negligible okay uh, then we have to place a one meter apart in a vacuum okay and the passing same amount of current passing the constant current okay so what the conductor experience is a force which force how much force 2 into 10 to minus 7 per meter 
is known as ampere okay so what is the definition of ampere so definition ampere is first of all we have to take a two straight conductor of infinite length and cross section area is negligible then is place in uh, a vacuum with respect to 1 meter distance between them okay and then we have to passing same amount of current between these two conductor okay so the conductor experiences a force per meter of 2 into 10 is to minus 7 so this is known as ampere okay fine so the fifth quantity is the thermodynamic temperature the unit is kelvin and the symbol is capital k okay so you know that the temperature is uh, measured by this is a kelvin second is a celsius and third one is a fahrenheit we'll discuss later okay now the definition of the uh, kelvin is is now the fraction of one upon the fraction or we can also say the part part of 1 upon 273.16 of triple point of water triple point of water means sublimation fusion vaporization and at that point is known as a triple point of water so the fraction of 1 upon 273.16 of triple point of water is measured on thermodynamic scale is measured on thermodynamic scale is known as temperature is known as thermodynamic temperature is known as a kelvin okay so and now last and final our sixth definition is <clears throat> as a, the quantity is the amount of substance a unit is mole and the symbol is mol so what is the amount of substance so if we have a amount of so we know that so each and every particle are made of different kinds of the molecules different kinds of the small 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 entities okay so the amount of substance which contain many elementary entities as there are atom in a 0 0.012 kg of carbon okay okay now our next topic is supplementary quantities okay yeah we know that the different type of the quantities but this is supplementary quantities okay now there are the two types of the supplementary quantity first one is known as a plane angle and the plane angle is noted by the d theta what is the plane angle so okay so now this is a point of origin o and uh, this is a a point and this is a b point okay now the radius of this o is r and the radius of uh, ob is r so if we have to go from a point to b point okay so the radius will be same but it makes some angle with respect to some displacement okay so we can say that this is a arc okay so we can say this is a arc and this arc is known as a displacement so the displacement is known as a ds so now we can say that the ratio of arc of circle and the radius of circle is called plane angle okay so the ratio of if you have to uh, subject like ratio that it is a uh, upper and down so the ratio of arc to the radius of circle is called as a plane angle and plane angle is denoted by the d theta if in the figure according to the figure okay the d theta equal to uh, uh, arc arc is a uh, this ab and uh, the distance is a uh, r so the d theta equal to ds displacement upon r and the, okay, the unit of plane angle is a uh, radius now next is <coughs> our solid angle so what is our solid angle the solid angle is known as a d omega the second one is known as a solid angle and the solid angle is known as a d omega what is a d omega now the angle subtended by area on spherical surface with the center of the sphere is called as a solid angle if this is a origin and this is a radius of r this also radius of r if we have to make uh, this r of in we have to draw this uh, and this is a center okay if the uh, line is passing through the center so if you have to make a uh, some area likewise okay so this uh, area okay now and this also area and we have to respect uh, this uh, whole area and this angle is d omega so the solid angle is solid angle d omega is area upon radius square it's a whole amount of the area and the area is a radius square the radius square equal to the area is delta a upon r square it is known as a solid angle it is a maximum value of the solid angle is 4 pi and the unit of solid angle is sti radian what sti radian if you have to make some angle of one of uh, one another example if we have a torch okay if we have a torch so 
if we have to on the torch so the uh, light uh, goes like through that okay now this is a circumference area of the light so this is a area so this is a area and the angle between this is known as a d omega so the solid angle d omega it makes the some area with respect to radius square okay so this solid angle is area upon radius square okay i hope you enjoy this session thank you